Hello and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a MySQL database in the AWS Relational Database Services. So I'm logged into the console and we'll just click on RDS Dashboard. So from here, you can select Instances and we want to click on Launch DB Instance. For this demonstration, we're going to select the free tier eligible only. So we're going to select in MySQL and the version we're going to use is MySQL Community Edition. So first we have to specify the DB details. In the license model, there is only one license available for MySQL. In DB Engine version, in some regions uh, there are multiple versions available as you can see here. We're going to select the latest version. The DB Instance we're going to take a, a micro one with one vCPU and one gig of RAM. The multi availability zone deployment, we say no. Uh, if you say yes, you'd get a replica of the da database in another availability zone. Storage type, we'll stick with general purpose SSD and 20 gig of storage. So we need to specify a unique name for our instance. And we'll call this one test instance. We then need to create a master username and password. Then we click next step. So when it comes to the network and security section, we'll leave it in the default virtual private cloud, the default subnet group. We want this to be publicly accessible so that we can connect to this once we've created the database. Availability zone will say no preference and we're going to create a new security group. You'll see at the bottom right, the security group rules it adds is actually your public IP so that when the database is launched, although it's available on the internet, it's only available to your IP until you make a change to the appropriate security group. So we need to give our actual database a name. We'll stick to the default port. Uh, we won't change anything in the parameter or option groups. These define configuration settings for your DB instance. And I'm actually logged in as the root user at the moment, so we won't be using IAM DB authentication. Backup retention period, we'll leave it seven days. The backup window, we won't put a preference in at the moment, but you can set a time. We'll leave enhanced monitoring to no, and the auto minor version upgrade will leave to yes. This means any minor incremental version upgrades uh, or releases, they'll apply them automatically. Uh, you can have it during a window, a time window as well. We'll leave it with no preference. Then we'll click Launch DB Instance. So it does take a few minutes for it to create, so you can click on View DB Instances. So now you'll see that the database has been created. We can now access it. At the moment, the status is backing up. This won't stop us from actually connecting to it. So if we have a look at some of the details around it, you'll see the endpoint. And if we have a look here, you'll actually see that there is one rule which allows us inbound via my public IP to that database instance. So down here, we want to take a copy of the endpoint and we're going to use MySQL Workbench to connect to this database. I've already downloaded and installed it. So in Workbench, we go to MySQL Connections, click the little plus sign, give the connection a name and we put in the host name which is the endpoint we got from Amazon Web Services. We put in the username that we entered earlier so it was admin and then we click on test connection. So you'll be prompted for the password. We'll click save password in vault. Click OK and there we see successfully made the MySQL connection. If we just click OK to connect and there's a connection there, so we'll just click on that. And there you see our test database there. Thank you for watching this video.